got really motivated to do some painting after spending some time just painting a few signs for someone else. And I said, oh, no, I can't do it. I'm not good at it. And after I'd done them, I was really happy with them. And so is everyone else. So I came home motivated to paint a few other things that I've been thinking about for years and not got around to. I started with my Ganesh, who was just pretty dull grey colour. I was using him for a doorstop, but because of his colour, you couldn't even really see that he was Ganesh. So I just started off by giving him a good clean. I used a toothbrush to get into all the little cracks. I, think I finished off by giving him a wipe down with a wet cloth, then just made sure he was dry before I started painting. So here are the paints that I use. The little tubes on the right-hand side I'd actually had in a drawer for several years. I would say, I know, it's at least 10 years. I bought them at some stage thinking, oh, I want to do some painting, but I actually had no idea what type of paint to use on what. And I thought, oh, I'll go and do a course, but I'd never got around to it. And it's one of those things, like most people, I would say, no, I can't draw, I can't paint, but I love it. And so now that I'm not going to work, I thought it was a good time to give it a try. So the ones on the left, that white one um, I bought in Kmart. It was only a couple of dollars. Uh, the other bigger coloured ones, they had a special at Aldi and they were only a dollar or so each. The gold one I bought from, actually bought from Bunnings. Uh, I just felt for the gold, I probably needed a really good quality and also um, a lot of places, if they've just got the cheaper ones, they don't have a gold. And I'm really happy with that actual, that gold one, the way it turns out. So the next thing was my paint brushes. And these paint brushes, to start with, I was kind of in a hurry to get started. So I just went down to my local newsagent and bought that bigger packet of brushes, that the ones with the blue handles, cost me maybe $10 for that packet. And then... I felt like I needed a few other shapes, a few other thicknesses. So the packet on top, I actually bought from a $2 store. And yeah, they were $8.50. It's probably worth making sure you buy reasonable brushes anyway. But I've found that uh, between Aldi, the $2 shop, shops, Bannings, everyone's got these things for quite reasonable prices these days. So here he is. When I first started, I've just at that stage just put the blue on his trousers and then I've done the red of his shirt. I'm going to show you slower me painting in a minute. That's more of a side view. Then I've done the gold, the gold trim around his clothing, his hat, his bits and pieces that needed that gold. I've actually done some gold down his trunk. And later on, I actually I end up painting over that, but you can still see it very faintly. And then I go back and do the gold again. But most places, I'm just painting up to the edge of the other colour. And it's quite easy to do that. So here I'm just doing his legs. So where I've needed a slightly different colour, like for his red jacket. The red that I had was really a bit too red. I wanted something a little bit more orange. So I mixed up a bit of red and yellow. And here I'm doing grey on his legs. And I've used three quarters white, a quarter black. And I haven't actually mixed it that well on the palette. I'm just picking up bits of black and white on the brush as I'm doing it and then I'm painting with that. It sort of mixes as I'm painting and I quite like the fact that there's little bits of variation in the colour, particularly where it's supposed to be skin. So we might speed this up a bit now. Yeah, so each, each bit as I'm painting it does dry pretty quickly. I think it's about an hour before it's, you know, really dry enough that you can paint right up next to it with another colour. So once I've finished all those skin bits, I just go back and you know touch up a few of the edges where, where I've missed tiny little bits, just using a really little brush. And then I've gone back and touched up the gold. And then I've got I haven't got I haven't bothered to pick up more white, but just picked up some of that white from the edges of where I've mixed the black and white. I'm just doing a little bit of highlighting like on his ears, on his feet just to give it a little bit of variation. Mm, a bit of 
for eyes and ears. Right, do his eyelids, put some highlight around his face, around his eyebrows, around his ears. But I mean, that's not really necessary if it's the first time you're doing something. But I quite liked adding those little touches. I was so happy with the way he turned out. I have put him back as my doorstop. I love being able to see him as I come in and out of the door. And he just looks so much more like Ganesh. Ganesh is the protector. So I've had a Ganesh at my doorway for many, many years. And I do feel like he looks after me. And that's it. He is all done. So that's the end result. And here's the reminder what he was to what he now is. I'm so, I'm really satisfied with that end result. And I hope it inspires you to get your paints out and paint a few things. Thanks for watching.